absolutely gorgeous day today. Stunning. No wind. Low 80s, high 70s, something like that. No rain. Uh, today, I got to work on the Kubota. This is an RT, a 2014 RTV X900. Technically, it's an X902 because it's orange, but we'll just stick with the X900. The rear outer uh, boot on the passenger side CV boot is torn. It's got to be replaced. I've never done it before. I can't even find the part online. Uh, I've got the uh, workshop manual for the Kubota. Doesn't even mention replacing how to, how to get the boot off. So apparently this is easy to do. I don't know. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to pressure wash it because it's filled with mud and I think the mud may have led to um, the failure of the boot. Uh, just because there's a big hunk of mud there and the mud here we have here has a high clay content So when it sets up, it's 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 like a coffee mug. It's that hard. So uh, let's get it pressure washed out um, Get it inside and I mean seriously, let's figure this out because I have never done this before Let's get to work Okay, I am not familiar with Kubotas. Um, 
And one thing I am really not familiar with is buying parts for Kubotas. Uh, I could not find these boots. Now remember, my Kubota is an RTV X900 four-wheel drive. Uh, job site, or excuse me, work site version. It does not have the straight axle on the back. It's got independent in the rear. This boot from Kubota was $100. This boot from Kubota was $89 or something like that, ridiculous like that. Uh, and they're gone. Um, and then they had to order them. They don't even keep them in stock, which again, really surprising. Um, it's, it's, it's a wear item. I don't know, understand why they didn't have it. So what I did is, and I went on a couple forums and nobody got back to me on the forums, which is fine. I was a new member. I looked eBay motors, Amazon, none of them would say that their boots fit the X 900. Uh, most of them said does not fit, even though it was a 2014, you know, RTV X 900, uh, work site, it said does not fit. So I did the next best thing. I went down to O'Reilly's and I said, what do you got? And I was literally expecting them to measure this and measure this and look it up in a catalog and pull up a $20 part. Well, that didn't happen. What they sell is something called a lock boot. And I used something similar to this to do a car I had. Oh my God. I think I did that job 27, 28 years ago. And what it is, is it's a two piece boot. So you gotta be really careful not to get grease or anything in there. You literally wrap this around here, trim it down to size. So you've got, you can trim it here, you can trim it up here, and then you super glue it together. Uh, and these here are your band clamps, just warm, warm screw clamps. So I've got one, I had to back order the other one, and it'll be here at three o'clock today. So what I'm gonna do, one, having never done this before, oh, and it comes with grease too. So again, having never done this before, I am gonna go ahead, I already cut this one here, here off um, to get it out. So I've cut this one here off, I'm gonna cut this one here off, I'm gonna cut this one here off, I'm gonna cut this guy here off, I'm gonna take a knife and then I'll cut, I'll cut the rubber boots off and get the rubber boots out. Just so the video is not two hours long, I'll bring you back when that's all done, okay? Let me find a big sharp knife. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, ran into some problems last night, had to stop. I just stopped, I was just too tired. This worm drive of this worm drive clamp hits the housing right here. So I had it way up here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole unit apart, uh, put it on the workbench, and now that I know that this is an issue, I'll see if I'll address it on the workbench. Well, it looks like these uh, steel tie wraps are gonna be a fail. Um, the boot is like this big around because it's not specifically designed for this uh, CV joint, and the CV joint's this big around, which means I need to collapse all that rubber around and down to get it to, to crimp on this guy here with one of these. I've got it pulled so tight that um, it actually broke. And to break one of these things, it's not easy. So I think these boots are an absolute failure. So $85 down the drain. And um, I got to find the right boots. And hopefully I don't have to go to Kubota because that's going to be $200. For boots but you know I just pissed away 85 so how many failures do you see on uh, YouTube repair videos well now you've seen one this was an absolute failure I'm gonna call the video here I'll title this part one failure how not to uh, replace a CV boot on a Kubota part two hopefully I'll have the correct parts and uh, 
We'll get it. We're making progress. We now know how not to do it. Thanks for watching.